Hi, everyone, and welcome back to Season 7 of Stand Up and Stand Out. Parate y desde que I'm your hostess with the most is Nikki Green. As a life and business resiliency expert, I thought we would share some stories of resilience this season. It's also the one-year anniversary of Chameleon Mindset, my best-selling book, and we are giving away a bunch of great prizes and deep discounts on my coaching programs to celebrate. Be sure to check the show notes of each episode to learn more and follow me on social media. I hope you're enjoying season seven, and I look forward to hearing your feedback and comments on the fascinating topics we're going to cover with each guest. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Stand Up and Stand Out. Parte y desde Today, we have the lovely Katie Sampio with us. How are you, Katie? What's going on? I'm good. I'm excited to be here. <laughs> I know. The last time we saw each other, we were on the shores of Costa Rica, enjoying our time at your retreat. Yeah, hard to be that. <laughs> So Katie and I came together last September. You guys might have seen us. Um, I was a speaker on her confidence masterclass, and it was an incredibly fun time. You'll see some of those other speakers on our podcast this season. It's been great continuing to connect with them. And Katie had an amazing opportunity where, um, you know, she does many of these retreats all over the world, and she needed some help in Costa Rica. And you guys know that this year I'm trying to do retreats. And so I said, man, what a great opportunity to go and mentor with someone so experienced experienced. Plus, you know, hey, Costa Rica isn't a bad place to go learn. And so I raised my hand and did my best to uh, help Katie along the way. But Katie, why don't you share a little bit with the audience about, you know, your journey, who you are and who you love to coach now? Yeah. So I'm a life redesigner for high achievers and entrepreneurs that want to get to their next level of success, not just in their businesses, but in every other area of their life, specifically with relationships, with the way that we're thinking and just with overall lifestyle design, right? It's not just about working our life away and then not actually enjoying the, uh, the life the way we want to. And we get to do it now. So that's essentially who I help. And I have a life redesign program for that. And also a, a very small group of business coaching program for new coaches and entrepreneurs. That's 90 days as well. And yeah, it's really people who just want to, they want to live a great life and they don't want to have restrictions in their way so that we're enjoying the experience of actually being alive. (laughs) And I love this about Katie that, you know, she really does embrace this digital nomad lifestyle. Um, When we did Confidence Mastercard, you were in France at the time, right? (laughs) Yep. Surfing in France. And what was that? In September. Yeah. And now I'm in Utah, but then we were just in Costa Rica all of December. So I've been I've been nomadic for eight years. So I've really designed life exactly the way I want. I created my career to be exactly what I want. It's evolving all the time. It doesn't stay the same, but it's like it's a certain mindset and it takes a certain type of adaptability to be able to actually flow with life versus resist it all the time. Because we have this idea in our head of how things have to go and how things have to be. And that's the reframing work that's really important because life changes all the time. And a lot of us are really uncomfortable with change. So we push back and we fight back and it disrupts our experience in life. We th- and we think we're doing the right thing. That's what's crazy. Our mind lies to us. Our mind's like, no, you have to do this to be safe. Like this is, you know, this is what th- you, you, this is what it's supposed to be like. So so we get we get really emotional, and then when we're in, in a high emotional state, it's hard for us to make any decisions. Was, yeah, you either freeze or you have a panic attack. Like if people go one spectrum typically or the other, unless you have the tools and the skills on how to be able to move through your emotions and think in a certain way so that we don't ever get stuck in a shift that happens in life. I love that. And it's, you know, seeing you in action over that week that we were together was really, really, uh, it was motivational for me as well as a coach, just to really see the impact you can make on people's lives. And, you know, doing these coaching programs virtually, we are doing the best we can, you know, connecting with people, but having that little bit of extra mile to really get into everyone's day to day to just hack all of it apart, right? Like what you think about how you wake up, uh, whether you wake up, you know, what you eat when you start your day, how you fuel yourself, and then every step you're taking along the way. Like, are you really pushing yourself to be the best you can be physically, mentally, at your job, in your partnerships? 
I love that it really is the whole package because I think a lot of people, other coaches, they just kind of focus on maybe one small aspect because everyone's like, niche down. But I, I love that, especially the relationship piece, because I think so many of us are like, oh, I'm focusing on myself and I'm going to be so great. And then your partner's like left holding the bag, right? Yeah, I think like, so, so Nikki showed up with her partner at the retreat and it like so many people, we went through an exercise on putting people into ca different categories, different relationship categories. So we had great, which are people that you admire, mentors, people that you look up to. We had good, which are people that are like on your same playing field. And then uh, it was okay. Okay are the ones that we, they're probably actually taking something away from us in our life. And a lot of people commented at the retreat, Nikki, that you and Carlos were in their great category for partnership. Uh, and it was so moving because it is such a different world. And and having had, you know, what people would have seen on paper was a great relationship before, married for 20 years, which seemed like, you know, this long-term thing. But I really didn't get quite the support I needed to do these big things that I wanted to do. And that's a very different level of partnership. And so I think it's important when you're pushing people individually to do those things that they have a partner by them, their side that's going to do the same. Yeah. And, and understand how to communicate with that partner and listen and be in real. I don't think we've learned. I mean, I didn't learn from my family. I didn't learn from school how to be in real relationship with people at all. I'm like, well, what does that even really mean? It, you know, like, what what does it mean to have a great, incredible relationship? Whatever we grew up in is what we're modeled, and that's what we start to then create around us. So, you know, every like, I just if I look back at what what relationship was I modeled growing up, it was a dysfunctional one. You know, my parents fought all the time. I never saw them be affectionate with each other. They weren't affectionate really with us. It was a lot of rules and and yelling. You know military background <laughs> from a mom and then an immigrant father from Puerto Rico who's very like and me being the oldest and of course a girl oh. you know was literally not allowed to do anything <laughs> so you know when i when i started dating and being in in relationships with people it was there was a lot for me to learn and that's why i focus so much on coaching and into communication styles and boundaries and and just understanding how to create more intimacy and connection in relationships, because it's literally not something that we're taught unless you were just one of the chosen few who had these this type of family environment, or you had a, a special mentor in your life who who was able to expose you to these kind of taboo things at at a very young age. You know, we just think we're supposed to learn everything in school. Well, there's no, co there's no, there's no, there's no training like this in school on how to actually live life well, how to, how to be a great human being. If you're religious, you might have learned some of those things from your religion growing up, your belief systems. And we can't really just rely on those to learn how to operate in modern day society in great relationships, right? So that's why we focus so much on that because relationships are life. If your relationships aren't great, then you're probably hitting a ceiling somewhere, hitting a ceiling with your clients, enrolling more clients, having better results with your clients, having a great relationship where you feel at at ease when you're home. Like that's really important, right? You work your ass off as an entrepreneur. You want to be able to walk in the door and not feel like you're walking on eggshells the minute that you walk in. It's like you're coming there to have, like be able to let go, release, maybe show a different side of yourself that wasn't you know, you didn't feel comfortable showing earlier in the day because of your work situation or, or life situation and having that freedom and, and partnership to just be who you are. It's not, it's not, it's not an easy thing. It really isn't. And I love that you highlight the school piece of it too, because, you know, again, school is teaching us these, you know, supposedly things to help us in the world, but they're missing so much level of, of just layers that are important. We're again, taught to compete against each other. We're taught there's only one A, there's only one, you know, promotion, whatever all these things are that we've made such a scarcity mindset in our culture. And, and even with, you know, partnerships, it's like, oh, well, there's only one partnership that's going to be your magical prince or princess and so much pressure right like it it, it 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 smashes freedom and yeah i think that you you really summarized it with the word scarcity and i think that's what 
that's what modern day society really pushes into people. And, and that's why a lot of people feel like they're living in a box, right? They feel like they're living in a box. They're doing all the right things. They're going to school. They're, you know, they're studying, they're getting the A's. They're in that great relationship. It all looks great on paper, but something's missing inside. It's called your freedom. <laughs> it's called your soul is, is yearning for more, yet we haven't been taught how to build it. And, and that's, that's, you know, the dots that we help people, we connect for people. It's like, okay, this is where you want to go. And this is actually how to get there. And it's a different way of thinking. You've got to actually sign up for coaching programs that teach you about this stuff. That's the, that's the only way that I learned. I started doing transformation work when I was 23. I, my first ever program was Landmark, the Landmark programs. And that blew my mind. <laughs> you know, like when I went through that, I was like, whoa, I've never heard people talk like this before, show up for each other like this before, be this vulnerable around people they didn't know before. You know, it, it, it just blew off every single thing that I thought was okay or normal. And it created a whole new, and that's why I love traveling so much. You know, I started really traveling when I was about, you know, the first time I left the United States, I was 21. I had just graduated college. And as soon as I left the United States and started to see how other people were living life, every single thing changed for me. I remember just thinking, wow, I've been living in such a bubble, so wrapped up in my life, so wrapped up in my drama when there's so much going on in the world that number one, you feel so grateful. Like the, I never, I really never cared about being an American. I'll be honest with you until I left the United States and I understood what privileges I really had It changed everything for me. You know, and now I'm like, I really am proud to be an American because we do have way so many different opportunities here that other people, they just don't have and with that way their government systems are run. It's crazy. And I think that's why trap. That's why we, I love to do the international retreats. It's part of the coaching now. It's actually included because when you get out of your comfort zone and you start to just purposefully implant yourself and expose yourself to different ways of thinking, different ways of operating, and it will be uncomfortable. And you're not going. <laughs> all these things are going to come up when you're there, and that's why we need the mindset and, and emotional work to pair with it, so you know how to work through it, and you'll get stuck in it. But your your freedoms on the other side of that of that of that knowledge of that awareness. It's like, whoa, I'm not stuck in my job. I'm not stuck in this relationship. I'm not stuck in this city. I'm not stuck in this country. You can literally do whatever you want and live, but who are you surrounding yourself with? Are you surrounding yourself with people that actually believe in your dreams, that talk about legacy and in a different life? Or do we are we around people that are constantly shutting you down? For why are you thinking like that? That's stupid. That's irresponsible. You're too much. That's not safe. You can't do that when you have a family. I hear that one a lot from my from my parents that sign up for this, this guild. Doing anything different than what people are supposed to do as parents or as husband and wife, or even as a, as a son or a daughter. Right? There's so much guilt because we're so worried about everybody else accepting who we are. Because and we haven't even learned how to accept who we are. And that's such a problem. And and I am so thankful for stepping into this world as well, because I felt that all my life as well. It's just like, why is everybody telling me, like, if I go do these steps, my life is all of a sudden going to be perfect, right? These are the things. And then I got, I took all the steps. I took the big leaps, which felt like the things I was supposed to be doing. And I felt like shit all the time. I was like, this is not right. This, okay, the money's coming in. I've got health benefits. Cool. I can check a couple boxes, but for the most part, that's not really it. And so I did take the opportunity to travel extra when I was going places for work. I was like, hey, you, would you want to go to Sweden this weekend? Yes, I do. Like, just go and go and explore new things and talk to new people and see new ways of being. It may not change like the way you feel it may just solidify it, but that's great too. Hey, know that you are right because you have some evidence behind it, not just because you lived in a town of five people and the same five people told you the same thing all the time. 
and and I really want more young people to do that exact thing is go and travel. I think that's one thing where America, we actually kind of insulate people a lot in Australia and Europe. It's very much acceptable to finish, you know, high school and then go travel and then go to university or travel in between or whatever. But, you know, to really see the world and understand other cultures, it really opens your mind. And then you start to have a different perspective. And before you start judging others, you have some level of facts behind it of like why that resonates with you or doesn't, right? So I think that's important. Again, circle right back to relationship. Yeah, exactly. It, it's hard, you know, my, one of the challenges with my first husband was that he didn't like traveling. Uh, I love traveling. I traveled as much as I possibly can. Exactly. And so, you know, right away that there's not an alignment there. And gradually we did a few things, you know, but it was never the level that I wanted, you know, to, to be able to do. And so finding friends, finding, you know, a, a life partner, whatever those things are for you that are going to allow you to do whatever it is, even traveling here in the U.S. The U.S. is huge and there's lots of beautiful places to see here that many people have never seen. Um, and I think that goes to the coaching is taking people to new environments, pushing them both mentally and physically to go do new things. I cried at the retreat. I had a couple of breakdowns because I was also doing the work while I'm there. And it takes a level of vulnerability. And I think that's an important part where you make such a great connection with your clients that they trust you so fully to do this deep work. And I know this has not been, you know, overnight. You've been working at this for many, many years. <laughs> and how much do you love it, though? How much do you know, like, this is really what you were put on this earth to do and, and to help people in this way? You know, sometimes you just know that you're on your path. And, it, and that's what it feels like. Like, I've always known I was meant to help people rise up. Did I know exactly how I was going to help? Like the mechanism behind it? No, I just knew that I I, I was meant to be a leader. I, I, it's just like a feeling that I've had. And I had this feeling before I was a leader. You know, like I didn't know how to become a leader until I started doing this exact work that I do with my clients on myself because I didn't feel safe to become a leader. I didn't know how. I didn't have the environment, the people around me that were strong leaders that I could learn from back when I was in high school, back when I was in middle school, back even when at the beginning of college, I was surrounded by people that were just coasting through life, you know, to be, to be really, really honest, that weren't taking risk. I remember I, I, since I was a kid, a little kid, I always put my money away into a savings account. So I'm glad I was really good with that. And by the time I graduated college, I think I had $27,000 in my account. And all I wanted to do was use that money to go travel through Europe. And that was my motivation. I was like, I want to travel. I want to do things literally out of all of my friends at the time, nobody wanted to go. No, they wanted to go to Florida. They wanted to go to California. They wanted to go to the Caribbean. And I'm like, I want to go to Europe. I want to go on a plane out of here. And it's, and I was, and I just, so I felt trapped, you know, because I didn't have anybody else that I could relate to or talk to. I never felt like I fit in. Like I always felt like a weirdo, like the odd one out. It's so environmental. Like a lot of, if, if you're listening to this and you feel like you don't fit in, it's because you probably don't. And do you want to fit in to a group of people that are aligned with what you're wanting to achieve and do and have in your life? You know, and, and that's when I, when I went to school and I finally met a couple of new people because I was in this different business program that I got entered into. Like literally, it's crazy. Change your environment. Like it's not, it doesn't take years and years and years to be honest. Change your environment immediately. And all of a sudden, what you create in the world, what you experience in the world is completely different. I think people don't understand that. They think it's going to take forever just because it took them forever to get wherever they're at. And it's like, no, no, no. Change your environment. And all of a sudden, within days, hours, a week, whatever, however fast you'll allow it to happen. Things change. I hopped on a plane. I met her in this business competition. We knew each other for three weeks. Three weeks later, we were on a plane to Europe. I'm not kidding. I had all my saved in my account. She didn't. So she took a $10,000 loan out. That's what she did. And we went to Europe. 
And we went to seven countries in 30 days. And that was like the beginning of everything. She actually became a flight attendant shortly after that trip because it it exposed her so much and nobody, nobody in her family approved. They didn't get it. She lived in the middle of nowhere in Maryland in the country. It wasn't what you, you didn't do stuff like that. But then, you know, like you start, you start meeting new people. You say like, well, why can't I? Why can't I be a flight attendant if I want? You know, why can't I travel the world if I want? Why can't I start a, a, a nomadic business, an online business? And, and that's actually the first time I ever saw people traveling and working on their computer. Like, you know, I heard the concept, right? I mean, at this point, this is about 13 years ago. And it was, I remember the, I the first businesses I saw people doing when I was traveling was a lot of Amazon stuff, like selling products on Amazon and then some, a little bit of coaching, but the coaching industry was not as big as it is now. And I just remember thinking like, well, why can't I do what I do online? I was, a, I was personal training and nutrition coaching at the time. I said, well, why can't, why can't I do that? And that's when everything started to change. The way I thought, my goals, me investing in my, my mindset, my personal development, Tony Robbins, you know, like whatever. Like I took all the freaking coachings from all the gurus. And it's like, once you get a taste of that freedom, once you actually believe, you got to believe that it's possible for you. You know, yeah, mindset. That's why the number one thing for you to work on is your mindset. If you're going to invest money in a training, invest money in your mindset. Hi, everyone. My name is Nikki Green, and I am a life and business resiliency expert. I have been helping people for over two decades overcome their challenges and achieve their life and business goals. I wrote Chameleon Mindset for others seeking clarity while acclimating to new situations. This entertaining yet research-based guide to transitions will open your mind to unique strategies for finding purpose and achieving your goals. Through my new book, you will create the happy life you desire with five philosophies for change, beginning with C for creative adaptability. Move from resistance to resilience by assessing and adjusting your risk tolerance. The practical lessons in Chameleon Mindset will help you shift your mindset, sharpen your skill set, and overcome the things holding you back from dealing with change. We'll have the new online course coming soon. There are half a dozen modules in total, but the way you choose to pursue your destiny, it's up to you. Each module can be done independently or repeated as necessary to tackle new obstacles and new goals in your life. And you can earn extra chameleon coins for uncovering them. What are chameleon coins, you might ask? These are reward XP that you can earn to purchase additional chameleon mindset benefits as you progress through the course. You can get swag, group coaching, one-on-one -on -one coaching, exclusive event tickets, and networking opportunities. And if you collect enough coins, you can even earn a full day VIP intensive with me to work solely on your goals. And by joining the Chameleon Crew, you will also gain access to my network of thousands of influential people around the world with expertise to help you on your business, your personal endeavors, health and fitness, and so much more. Reserve a copy today and click below to be added to our subscriber list. It's the first step. And it, it sometimes is that hardest step to take is, is that very first one. But like you said, so many more things follow. And, and that is the path that led me here as well. It, I had been over all the years reading the books, taking the courses, but I was still in this corporate environment and surrounded by family that didn't, you know, believe in that that vision. And it wasn't until literally everything blew up in my whole life, left my job, lost my house, left my spouse, like, you know, and it was like fate was like, no, 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 we're not doing this anymore. <laughs> we're going this way instead. And I could have been afraid I could have gone and done that path and just stayed safe and stayed with what I knew. But I was like, man, if this many signs are coming to me from the universe to say we're not doing that anymore it's time to start listening. And I hope more people here are listening to you and they're interested in what you have going because it's a fantastic program. I think more people should definitely get into, you know, follow you on social media. So before we sign off here, because time flies so quickly, tell us a little bit about what's coming next for you, how best they can reach you and uh, what else is going on. We got some great things coming up in Live to Thrive. <laughs> so there's my website right there, katysampio.com. You'll find a lot of resources there. You'll find links to all my social media. I'm actually starting a new Instagram account, Katie Sampio Official. 
just to beat the algorithm a little bit. Um, but we have a big event coming up April 10th, 11th, and 12th. It's going to be a three-day live free event. That's really, it, it's it's going, it, it's a taste of my 12-month life redesign program. So if you're feeling like you want a life redesign, trust me, we've got to up-level you in order to do that. That starts with your mindset, the way you think, the way you talk, and then really go into some of the very specific high-end trainings that I have on communication and relationships, creating an unstoppable vision, how to actually take action and be consistent and learn what ways of being means and all of these different concepts that I've learned over, you know, 10 more than 10 years in this transformation work. That's what this coaching program is comprised of. And this is a free three-day event. And it's the best way to get a taste of of what this work can do for you is to actually just experience it. You can't study it. You can't listen to a podcast about it. You got to actually do it. So I have the, this free this free event in April. So you'll find that on my website. If that interests you, please take advantage of it. This is about a $5,000 program that I'll be offering for free for those three days. I only do this a few times a year, just to allow people again to experience it because you're not going to understand it until it starts. you start to see the the effects that it really has on your life and how it changes your business, how it changes your bank account, how it changes your confidence, how it changes just how you show up in the world and how you feel when you wake up every day. Um, And then we are going to have a retreat in Mexico at the end of the year. So that's going to be in November. So finalizing the details for that right now. But again, that's on my website too. That's And that's the, the big trip, the big Thrive Retreat of the year. So switch it up a little bit from Costa Rica to to Mexico. My second, my second love. I love Mexico so much. The food is better than Costa Rica. I will give Mexico that. So yeah, that's going to be the details for that are on my website. If anybody is interested in that. Beautiful. Well, we'll drop all of that and some other links into the show notes. So anybody that wants to get a hold of you can. Um, I am really excited about all your events. Trust me, guys, like this is more than, you know, Katie is amazing and she can definitely get you to where you're trying to be. But she also has a great community of her other clients that are there too, that are incredibly supportive. It's always about that whole experience and then getting the chance to go to the retreats. Trust me, it will change your life. (laughs) They're designed to be that way. And it's a lot more than just a fun trip. Like it's about... 5,000 times that is what you're going to get out of it. You're going to walk away completely feeling and being a a human being. And that's the power of the community. And that's the power of these kinds of immersive experiences. They're meant to really create something exceptional. That's the standard. Oh, absolutely. Oh, it was so good seeing you again, Katie. I can't wait for us to hang out together again, actually in person. Although I love our virtual chats when we get to hang out. Um, Thank you guys all for joining today. I hope you guys enjoyed our show. If you haven't already done so, please like, subscribe, follow, whatever the thing is on the platform that you're on. And we will catch you next time where all the cool kids hang out, the Do Podcast. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.